滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴。Keto living is the life for me. Coffee, cooking, and recipes. Spending my days with my doggies. So be a sport. Set your alarm for Wednesdays for the Warden's Welcome Report. To the Warden Report. And happy 4th of July. I know I didn't check in yesterday. Oh, you'll see that? I kind of burned myself earlier. Uh, but I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. Please let me know. What did you cook or have for July 4th? What is your, those in America? Hey, if you're outside of America, I know we've got some Canadians in here. What did you do on Canada Day? What did you have? So what did everybody cook up? I'm just curious. Um, I think we're doing just meatloaf tonight, honestly. I did go, so I'm off today, but Heath is working, getting up double pay. And so I actually got up, cleaned the house a bit. I did some dusting and some sweeping because it's like every day I have a new dog that grows. Uh, so I did that when I first woke up. I actually woke up at 940 this morning. But the reason was Delilah just kept barking. He'd set work. Delilah's barking every now and then. And then I would hear Sam kind of, not exactly a bark, kind of a, between a whimper and a bark. Because <laughs> we uh, shut the bedroom door. Otherwise, he will jump in the bed with me. And he just likes to fling his body against me. And then it gets all the covers and everything dirty because he just sheds so much. So we close the door so he sits right on the outside of the door and waits for me. So I uh, got up, I did all that, and then I ran to Kroger because I noticed today was the last day for the toilet paper was marked down to $3.99 for a 12 double roll. Um and it was up to five, so I got two packages of those. I mean, we still have three full packages in our, uh, we keep our extra toilet paper in our uh, hall closet. And so we already had three, so hey, this brings us back up to five of those packages. And then while I was there, of course, I had to look for the discount, y'all. I did really well today, I think. So, um... Kroger has a portion where their produce is 99 cents, anything, and it's in like a red net bag. So they had a whole bunch of their strawberries, the pound of strawberries for 99 cents. So I went ahead and grabbed one. Um, I got some discounted salad, and I'll show you that in a second. And then I think the, I don't know if it's the best score now, but it was a 12-count uh, bottle of Topo. And the glass bottles marked down to 637 and they had it all taped up so I didn't know you know what was if it was missing or what well when I opened it when I got home so I made a little more than 50 cents per bottle but two of the bottles they just substituted some kind of lemon flavored plastic water bottle it didn't show any sugar in it it just has a splash of lemon juice but I just put it in. We have like a little in our drink fridge where we keep all the bottled waters. And sometimes, you know, we'll grab one on our way out to, you know, drink for the day. Or anytime we go on a little trip, we bring those. So I only ended up getting 10 actual Topo. And the two were regular bottled waters. So that made the Topo about 63 cents, 63. 3.7 cents, 64 cents each. I think that's still cheaper than what I would get like at Sam's. I think they were like 65 cents each, but oh well. Uh, at least we have that for a while. So I got that. I also found a huge bottle of Sriracha marked down to 305, and it's like the big, big bottle. So I thought that was a good deal. There were so many markdowns at this Kroger. So I got that. I got another thing of everything but the bagel seasoning, the Kroger brand, and a little four ounce bottle for $1.12. So I grabbed that. Oh, and this, these Lily's bars, we like these where they're filled with the caramel. 
$1.40 each. So I grabbed all seven. They had a whole little box of seven of them. Grabbed all of those. So I think that was a good deal. And um, try to think if there was any other... So, no, that, that was my deals, y'all. So, got that. And then, oh, yeah, two salad mix. One was their, like, organic Gotham, like, high-end for $1.80 for a package. And then this other one, I'll show you in a second, was their Cobb salad mix. Um, but everything is, like, separated. But it had bacon, um, chicken, like, cube chicken, and some uh, egg. And then it came with blue cheese, but I just threw the blue cheese dressing away. And then romaine lettuce, and that was $1.65. So I was like, okay, that's a perfect starter to a salad for me. So I got that. And so overall, I think I did pretty well. And then on the way home, there's a Dutch right by that Kroger. And so today's special, if you got two drinks, it was two times points. Or if you got three, you got triple points. So your girl had to get her three or two coffees, and I got Heath his uh, tea. So I got me two coffee. One is a white coffee brevet with sugar-free red raz and sugar-free dark chocolate. That's how I order it. And the other one is the large annihilator sugar-free. And honestly, those are my two favorites. I I don't know which one. I like better, y'all, because to me, the white coffee is very mild, but it is super delicious. Then Nihilator, you could definitely taste the coffee, and like, there are times when I'm like, you know what, I really want, like, coffee, like, give me some coffee, so, mm, that is so freaking good. If you want to support our drinking habit at Dutch, Hit that, buy me a coffee, y'all. We so appreciate you when you do that. It just means the world to us, and then it makes it makes these even better. You're like, can Dutch get any better? Yes, it can, y'all, because of the horde. So let me show you my lunch, and we'll get that. I'll get to eating. So this is the Cobb salad. I even kept it in the bowl. Now I added some of the greens that I also got at a discount. I added a couple strawberries some blueberries and then I added a slice of ham in there and of course our strawberry vinaigrette uh, some fermented kraut and uh, oh I forgot my olives I'll have to go get a couple olives and then of course I've got my avocado here on the side with that everything but the bagel seasoning I I'm just really excited this looks so good and for dinner tonight, we've got some more of that leftover meatloaf on top of, I made some new Kali mash today. And I also shredded some pepper jack cheese. So some of the pepper jack cheese is mixed in with the Kali mash. Yum, yum. And I sprinkled a little on top. Got our bacon wrapped asparagus, our stuffies, and a little side salad. And that's dinner tonight. Okay, y'all, it is Saturday, and I have gone to Aldi's so far. I've got a pickup scheduled for Sam's, and that's a little bit later. And so I just went ahead and went to Aldi um, to get back, but in time for Heath to have his lunch. And my Dutch. And your Dutch. And then um, also to make, make me a lunch. So I'm going to show you what I got at Aldi. I got the GTs. It's three sixty nine there, probably not the cheapest. And then I got the heavy cream. It's still on sale for four oh nine for a quart. It's a quart, right? Yeah, thirty two ounces. And then oh, I was kind of excited about this. Like you're looking, tell me when you see this, you immediately think since it said the frozen, you're getting like little individual sandwiches. But no, it's just the beef patties. And it's the Smash Sliders and the only ingredient beef. That's it, y'all. That's it. And there's the little sliders. So I'm excited about that. They only had a couple boxes left, so I went ahead and grabbed it. But when I was, like, looking at their frozen, this was in their, like, new frozen stuff. You know, their... Uh, all defined frozen and when I first looked at this I was like oh it's just frozen burger like the actual whole thing 
And then I got to look and I was like, ooh, no, it's just the patties, y'all. So it's $6.99, but it's only a pound and a half, so I know it's kind of high. But I got that, and then I got, while they still had it, I got another package of the Bavarian Wieners with the mustard. And then, of course, I had to get my salad blend. I got this, which is really good to add to my salad. Still, the green cheese is on sale, $1.45 a block. And then I saw this for $1.99, y'all. Gourmet spreadable cheese horseradish cheddar. That sounded really good to me, especially like for stuffies. And it looked pretty clean. And when I was looking at it, they had like, I think, four different flavors to choose from. I know some people will, won't like the sunflower oil, but I think it's so little it should be fine. And only one carb her two tablespoons so I think overall that's pretty good for especially for spreadable but they had a garlic herb a peppercorn parmesan and a sharp cheddar and then this one so that was the flavors they had a dollar ninety nine and then they had their baby bellas a dollar twenty nine these were two nineteen of course I had to get my doggy some more treats and then I went ahead and grabbed their strawberries. They weren't the cheapest. They're $1.69 there. They're $1.27 they're $1 at H-E-B. But I'm not going to H-E-B. And I was like, is it worth for $0.40 cents to stop and go to H-E-B? And I was like, no. It's, I'm going to I'll spend the extra $0.40 cents and just get it here. Of course, some jalapenos. Of course, I got a whole bunch of avocados, y'all. And then here's my other splurge. This is in their... Um, like summer finds and you know where they put the different food products so you have toasted graham cracker and mocha marshmallow let me know if you've tried these coffees but look i thought this was cute so if you go to this one it says oh you gotta mix with this one and then if you go to this one it says oh make sure you mix with this one so they make you buy both so that you can have a s'mores and then look at this when you put the package together look it completes the fire the um oops now i got an even there we go it completes the fire uh what is this called picture well it's like you're campfire the puzzle together yeah isn't that cute so hopefully pretty soon i could try that and my wonderful coffee maker will know to take two scoops from this one and two scoops from this one to combine <laughs> So, yes, this is what I got at Aldi, y'all. Um, $50. $50 what I spent. Uh, it seems so high to me. But, again, I did splurge. Especially the coffee bags were $4.19 each. So, there's $8.40 just for coffee. So, yep, yeah, that's what I've got. And I'm going to start making my lunch now. All right, y'all. Here is my salad. I mixed it up a little bit there. But I... I did some of those cucumbers. I fermented them with some jalapenos. He said they're really good, so I uh, sliced it up to put on my salad. And then I've got an avocado here. And, sorry y'all, I've got my Dutch. Gotta have that. If you want to support our drinking habit, the link below that says buy me a coffee. We really appreciate when y'all do that. Thank you so much. And yeah, so this is just a sugar-free annihilator today. Sunday lunch. So we finished the live and I just made me up a salad for my lunch. I've got some bacon. I had two slices of bacon and then I took one of those burger patties, just one, cooked that up, added it to my salad and made some more of that strawberry vinaigrette. It looks delicious. Sunday dinner is basically a brisket hash. So it's all kinds of uh, veggies. So jalapenos, Sweet potato, onions, bell peppers, uh, mushrooms, and mixed with brisket, and then topped with the fried eggs, some cheese, and the leftover gravy. And then on the side here, we just have our stuffies with the horseradish cheddar cheese we got from Aldi. And that's our dinner tonight. Hey, y'all. We are just venturing out after Hurricane Burl. This is at the front of our subdivision. And yeah, one of these trees is going completely across.
boss. But hey, they already got crews working on it. Um, lots of lots of trees. Wow. But you know, honestly, uh, I, we've seen some I'm stuff. We're on the wrong side of the road trying to go around it. Yeah. Honestly, though, I feel like we're really fortunate that we saw several houses with actual trees on their house, y'all. Like, actually on it, broken down on their house and their roof, and one person had lots of side damage. But we're going to keep looking. I'll check in if, if I see any more. Oh, look at this. is devastating. Oh, my gosh. All right, y'all. It is Monday. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. What is it? After two. No, it's three oh, fifteen. Wow. So we're finally having. Uh, well, this is technically my first meal of the day. He had his breakfast, but we got one of our propane tanks. And we figured out we only had one that has gas in it or propane, so that's fun. Fuel. But <laughs> fuel. So we cooked up some um, burgers, those Aldi sliders, some veggies of um, sautéed mushrooms, onions, and jalapenos, a couple hot dogs. We've got our avocado and our tomato. So that is our meal. I'm not sure what we're going to do for dinner. Happy Tuesday, y'all. It has been whew, these last 24 hours, y'all. So yesterday... Monday, uh, Hurricane Barrel came right barreling into Houston. Um, we, I feel like we are very, very, very fortunate because, I mean, there might be a couple fence pickets down, and we did lose uh, one of the covers on our deck. And But other than that, no real damage. I mean, the cover, we were going to have to replace the cover anyways. I think it's, what, 10 years old? And so it needed to be replaced, and we were already missing one of the other panels, so that's why it also, well, two other panels, so it was four panels, and we have uh, already lost two during another, last year when we were on the cruise, two flew off during a storm, and then one flew off yesterday, went over our roof into the front yard, but again, no damage, that is what is best. So I'm not going to complain because we drove somewhat around our neighborhood. I, I put po uh, pictures in and a, a couple little videos, but there were neighbors that actually lost a great deal, like had huge damage, but you know, the front living room is gone kind of deal. So I'm not going to complain or say anything because you know, that they, they, I feel very, very, very fortunate. So in the city of Houston, our electricity, about 2.2 million people were without power yesterday um, after the storm. I think overnight, they have restored about 200,000. So what is that, 10%? Got restored, and we know, uh, you've seen him before in our live chats, BSM. Uh, he lives way down in Santa Fe, Texas, which is kind of on almost to Galveston. He's our, he got his power back by afternoon yesterday. So that's good for them. And then this morning, you talked to your mom, right? This morning, Alvin, which is the, a little further north, already has power, but Pearland did not, right? Yeah. That was as of this morning. So it seems like they're repairing from the south up. And of course, we're on the north side, but we'll see. Uh, there's, I know yesterday Center Point had already sent out a truck to our area and probably assessing damage. I know when we drove around, it looked like either a couple lines were down or they were the guiding wires for it. We don't know. We didn't want to get close enough to find out. <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, and a couple other neighbors said, yeah, you know, there's lines down and probably what they were doing yesterday was just assessing what the damage is out here but like they say they got to start at the number one spot you know to the main hub area fix that there the fix going out what sean just bought us five coffees oh thank you shauna 
Shauna, right? Yes. Oh. We just got to know this. Shauna, thank you. Well, we got our touch, so. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you. Shauna, you're amazing. Shauna bought our Dutch today. You're so nice. Thank you, Shauna. We appreciate you so much. So what we did, because yesterday was actually cool. Like, it stayed in the 70s all day and through the night because of the rain and everything, the clouds. It just didn't heat up yesterday. So the house actually felt really good. When we left, it was still registering at 74 in the house. So... Yeah, but today it's going to definitely get in the 90s and it's going to be just horrible, right? And we know Heath can't deal with the heat. So um, the closest hotel we could find. Uh, we actually went to two of them, but they didn't have any power. Yeah, so we went around, and, you know, looking in Houston. And, of course, I'm sure everybody was. With 2.2 million without power, everybody's looking for a hotel, right? And especially when Center Point's like, yeah, we don't know how long it's going to take, is what they originally said. We don't know how long. Could be days. So, we went to one because it said it was available, but nobody's answering. So, we drove over there because it was only 10 minutes away. And we got there and they said, well, there's a wait list. So, if you want to sit here for two hours to find out if we have one available for you, you're welcome to do so. So, then I saw there was one, another one nearby. And I went ahead and quickly booked it because I was like, well, if I book it first, because I should have done that with the first one when I saw there was a, a room, I should have just booked it. But I didn't because they wouldn't answer. And I was like, I don't want to have no power and get over there. So I booked the next one, get over there, and they're like, yeah, we don't have power or AC. And I'm like, why would I pay you? I think it was going to be like $400 for two days just to sit in what I'd be sitting at in my house, right? So, what I did is I uh, just started looking further out. Like, everywhere else was saying sold out. Uh, so, it was either we travel way down south and maybe it could have been the same situation. Um, and because I know all of the storm would have hit there. Otherwise, I kept searching out further and further. Like, I even went to Huntsville. Those were all sold out. So I went here in, it's called College Station. So if you were an Aggie, comment below. Let me know who our Aggies are. So we're in uh, Texas A&M country. And uh, it's about an hour and a half drive. But we it's a Candlewood Suite. So it's an IHG. And a Candlewood then means it's got a full kitchen. So we have a full refrigerator here. Not a mini fridge. Well, it's not a dorm fridge. No, it's a kitchenette, not a full. Well, yeah, yeah. But it's at least got a freezer, so there was a few things that we were like, okay, let's just grab these, like my heavy cream, and, you know, um, he had a pork chops and some other things. We just went ahead and grabbed them and took them here, and so we have plenty of food to eat for, you know, yesterday and today. And then it's also got, well, I'll show you all in a second, but, you know, it's, it's nice. There were some supposedly like do drop ins near us, like a red roof and other things. And I was like, <sighs> all right. And I'm probably bougie. You call me out on this if you think I am. Sorry, y'all, maybe this is better. You call me out on this. One time we stayed at something like a Days Inn or a Red Roof, something like that, where it was cheap. It was like $70 a night. It was really cheap, but the water couldn't decide if it was hot or cold, and it would go in between without touching. It would go from scolded hot to frigid cold. The floor was sticky, <laughs> and uh, of course there was no, yeah, the carpet floor is sticky. There was no kitchen, right? It's just a bed. The bed was hard, and there was an astronaut that stared at us all night, so that was a little uneasy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a picture over the bed with this astronaut, but it felt like the astronaut was watching you sleep. It was creepy, y'all. So did not do that. And I was just like, I don't want to take a chance on one of these red roofs or, you know, cheap, cheap, cheap motels. First, it's not going to have a kitchen. Like I saw some of them where they said a refrigerator and it was like the mini, mini refrigerator. That's it, cooler. Yeah, and, and no freezer in those. So uh, then we, 
I was just like, I just don't want to spend that kind of money, you know, even if it was $70 a night, and then to just be, and we don't even know if they have power or anything. So I was like, no. So found this, this is the closest, Candlewood Suites of a college station. I booked it for two nights. We might be doing a third. We'll just see what happens. But I'm just keeping tabs on everything. But this is comfortable. So I'll show you around so you can see what we got here. So we come in the room and immediately there's the refrigerator. Heath hates because he's like, they put it on backwards. No, well, they didn't put it on. They didn't just change the doors. Yeah, they did change the doors. But here's the door. And you come right here and you open right here at the door. So it's kind of weird. You got to go all the way to the door to open it. And then we got our fridge. There's an HEB. There's actually several HEBs here at both the same distance. We're still in Texas. Yeah, we're still in Texas. So, but I'm just happy. I feel like my creature comforts. So I brought my kefir, y'all. I brought our, I'm so glad I made the strawberry vinaigrette before we left. Like on Sunday, because we've got that. Of course, we got our zevias and our waters. Our heavy cream. Um, pork chops, some sausage, you know, all our stuff. So probably for lunch day, I'll probably make a salad. And so we went to HB. Water in there, hang my eggs. I'm snacking. I should be eating those instead of the chocolate. Oh yeah. So we went uh, to HB today. I got some ham for my salad, and we got some eggs. They were really cheap eggs, a dollar ninety eight for a large dozen. And what else did we get there? Oh, I got, I forgot my contact stuff. Oh, yeah. we This uh, HEB was rather fancy, and they had uh, keto pecans. They're really good. We've gotten them at a couple of ours, too, where they have the bulk section. So, they're, yeah. So, it's these keto maple pecans. That's what we got. And then, because we're actually in... Uh, Texas A&M College Station. So there's a lot of coffee shops, y'all, uh, which I absolutely love. But of course they have Dutch. They have like there's like four Dutches here. Uh, so that is awesome. So, uh, and I got your eggs out. You did take them. So, anyways, I got my Dutch. He got his Dutch today. And again, thanks, Shauna. And then so here's the kitchenette. We got a sink. You see, we've already got a utensils. We got the dog food bowls. We got a little mini coffee pot. Um, what is that? Uh, a pot, you know, to boil things. There's a toaster in there. There's silverware plates, dishwasher, that kind of stuff, right? Uh, skillets and everything for the little stove. Right. <laughs> and what I do like about Candlewood is they do have a little area where you could check out stuff. So they had a scale because we forgot the scale for the dog food. So we just checked out a scale, but they had an air fryer. They had uh, crock pots, board games, like all kinds of stuff. But look, it's a pretty nice like desk area. If I had known, I probably could have got my laptop and started working here. And so there is that... There's our bed. And look, Sam's found his chair. He's his spot. He's already claimed it. And there's Delilah. Say hi, Delilah. <laughs> and that little stink pot when I got up this morning, he did could stretch because I sleep right there. He could stretch from the chair right to the bed. And he was like, Hey mom. So they are loving it. I think uh yesterday when we got the leashes out. They were having a conniption fit because they were like, oh my gosh, we're getting to go somewhere just so you can lay here. But I did take them out, of course, and it's sunny and hot here, and I think they enjoyed getting out in the sun for a little bit. But yeah, so that's that's what's going on, y'all. This is our little, little kind of a getaway for the, uh, at least another day. We'll just see. Hopefully we get the power soon, y'all. But we definitely brought we brought our avocados. We brought a lot of little stuff uh, just so that we can have that, right? Always plan ahead. Hey, y'all. It is Tuesday night. 
And I just cooked this up some of those sliders with some cheese and fajita vegetables. I've got an avocado over the slice here. I'm just trying to get my work computer set up. So just thought I'd let you know what we cooked up tonight in the hotel. Hey y'all, I thought I'd check in. I'm sorry the warm report's delayed. We're back at the house. This is Wednesday at roughly 1. Uh, so you see there's lots, lots and lots of tree limbs. It's just the backyard. The front yard does have more, but I mean, that's nothing that can't be cleaned up, right? And I mean, there's quite a few on our deck too. We just got to clean all this up. And then you can see there's more here. And then I'll show you what damage we got. Okay. There's this. And then, oof. so this is where, I think the neighbor's tree, that tree might have lost a limb too. Or that's from the neighbors, I think. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. So we have more tree limbs here. That came, that was the neighbor's tree. And then, oof, not hard to walk here, y'all. And then, yeah, a few fence pickets that'll have to be replaced. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pickets. Oh, and one over there. I guess that's eleven. And then, yeah, that fell, and yeah, so they're looks like they're still working on that part. That over there. Whew. So, yeah. Oh, see, I've come on. Come on. Let's go, guys. Oof. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sorry, y'all. That's probably annoying. But, yeah, I think overall, I'm not going to complain. And it's, you can hear, you know, neighbors are already getting their stuff put together. I'm not going to play too much, you know, clean up work. That's actually pretty decent to only have to clean up this amount. So, we're going to pack them up and then, uh, and then get, get on the road again and go see Renee. So, yeah, we might end up having to pay, like, the yard men a little extra to come in here and kind of clean this up, but that that's fine with me. So, we'll find out from them, clean all this up, and get it going. But, yeah, our Blackstone, still the same place, never moved, or... Smoker never moved. The chairs and all that, they all stayed in the same place. Ooh. I mean, we did, we lost the other little cover that was there. So, we got to get those replaced eventually. But, yeah. I think overall, I don't, I, there are a lot of people that were not as fortunate. So, I feel bad complaining about anything. Us not having power. Like, come on, that's just first world. But, whew, sorry y'all, it is really hot out here. Come on, go baby, go. They're ready to go. All right, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. This, and we really appreciate you. Are you okay, baby? Oh, you're hot, aren't you? All right, we'll check in a little bit. All right, y'all, we are at a new hotel. We're now in Arances Pass, where the wonderful a moderator extraordinaire, Renee, lives. And we found another Candlewood Suite. I got here a little after five, so I made our dinner. You know, we, we did really good today. We did not eat out at all. Here, I'll show Heath. <laughs> I got a mid-bite. But, so this morning, 
I cooked up sausage for myself. I can't remember if I recorded at this point, y'all. I can't even remember my middle name. But for lunch, since we were in the car Amazing. driving. That's your middle name. What is it? Amazing. Ama Aw, I thought that was your middle name. But on the drive here, I couldn't record because I was driving, but it was a three and a half hour drive. We went ahead and um, he used his hot logic. <laughs> And cooked and put sausages in there, the ones from Sam. So we just ate those. We just shared it. <laughs> so I would take a bite. He would take a bite. <laughs> it was cute. We should have recorded if we could have. So now we're here. I just cooked up some more of those Aldi burger patties. I got a nice little side salad and a half an avocado. We're really trying to use things up, y'all. <sighs> oh, my gosh. So I'm going to show you real quick this place. So let me show you our freezer. Uh, yeah, all of those tubes, that's the dog food, so they were starting to feel a little soft, not, you know, thawed, thawed, about what I pick them up sometimes on Thursdays. Here's our fridge, so I feel like we did somewhat good on trying to salvage as much as we could. Here's our little kitchen. This one is actually much better than the one we stayed at in College Station. This is a two queen bed, and this is more frozen food that hopefully, I think when Renee sees this, she's going to be like, uh, I don't have room for all that. That's so, right. we'll see. Um, but yeah, really nice size room, right y'all? So, yes, I'm trying to get my work computer set up so at least I can work Thursday and Friday. And we might be having the live here, so... We'll see. All right, lunch for Thursday. Just a salad here, even at the hotel. This is some ham we got the other day, avocados, and just a salad mix, and that's what I have. So I'm working and enjoying my nice little lunch here. All right, y'all, dinner tonight. I worked a full shift today. That made me so freaking happy. Like everybody else was happy. Like we got caught up and everything. So that's good i went to a local coffee place this is the the cup they serve coffee in uh renee recommended called the addiction and they have sugar-free uh it is the tarotti so i got a salted caramel chocolate or chocolate salted caramel however you want to say it drip coffee with heavy cream it was really sweet to me so, when I got back to the hotel, I did add more coffee and some more uh, of my foamed heavy cream. And it is, it, it's, it's better. Um, but, we went to the store because we're trying to eat some of our frozen stuff, right? So, we don't have so much frozen. And we put a roast on. Actually, last night, we got a slow cooker from the hotel. They let you, like, rent out small appliances. Check out. Well, check out, yeah. Well, it's rent if you don't return it. But anyhow, and the roast looked so good. We were like, oh my gosh, you know, it'd be great is to make them as tacos. That's what we were already thinking. And when we got, there's only a little H-E-B here in this town. And when we got there, they had the cilantro and diced onions 50% off the little package. So I grabbed that and we already had tomatoes and jalapenos we needed to eat and some cheese and they sadly did not have egg life. They didn't have egg life. They didn't have Zevia. They didn't have Lily's bars. They did have the chips, but you know, like we were just looking at everything. But what we ended up getting is the HEB has carb scents, and they say they're like zero carbs. I, I, I've i never had these, and the whole time I've been keto. Let me know below if you've ever tried the supposed carb manager or whatever they you know whatever they like some of them said zero <laughs> carb and some of them said you know like keto and all that but they were all the same ingredients so i know there is some wheat in there what are your thoughts on it i'm only having two uh, i mean i feel like that's maybe it's better what do you think what do you think would it have been better just to get a regular tortilla or to just go with these carb sense ones what's your thoughts and again, I, it depends on your definition of keto, right? It's probably not the best thing. If they had had egg life, I definitely would have got those. 
they didn't so this is what we ended up getting happy friday y'all that sounds like there's some promising news we have some trucks that have been spotted in the subdivision so hopefully today is the day but i did make me some breakfast i am working and breakfast is just some breakfast tacos so i've got some of this is a horseradish cheddar cheese i got at aldi and i took two pernell sausages and then and chopped those up and then with some two eggs and then topped it with salsa and then cilantro and onions and this is just two more of those tortillas and then we're done with them but yeah that's my breakfast oh i'm not having coffee yet it's still early i'll have coffee in a little bit and on this friday lunch i've got the rest of the salad mix so then we'll be out of salad and ham got a avocado and then i did add strawberries blueberries and tomatoes those were all pre-hurricane so we got to get these things eaten and the more we finish these things off the less we have to take back home happy saturday morning so if you were in the live last night we chatted about what all was going on and um i never had dinner heath ate before we went live but i never actually had any today and i was fine y'all um so this morning i decided to make some breakfast and what I did was basically a scramble bowl. And it's got Pernell sausage, one jalapeno, a couple of mushrooms, uh, some cilantro and onion and salsa, cream cheese, and a couple of eggs. And that's all mixed together. I've got a couple strawberries here. And then my coffee. Look, I did bring my frother. So uh, that's my breakfast today. All right, y'all, we are at its place called Paradise Key in Rockport and we ordered some pork skins and oysters and look we're here with Renee or my meat sitter and then we've got Heath over here <laughs> and for my main entree this is a pecan snapper some cilantro sauce and I got the sweet potato fries y'all this really touches my heart it is Monday morning John and Catherine, which we met at KetoCon of last year or the year before. Confused which year, but we met them. They live like not too far around us. Y'all, they just dropped off this cooler. And it has all of these steaks in here. And look. Like, really nice steaks. Beef round steak bone ends. And three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh. Six of these beautiful steaks. This is amazing. Thank you, John and Catherine, so very much. This was so thoughtful. And just thank you so much for this. We so appreciate you. All of you have been so generous and so nice. So thank you for that so much. We really, really appreciate you. Happy Tuesday, y'all. It is Heath's day off. He's currently on the phone. Um, he's trying to see about the FEMA assistance, so we'll see how that goes. But it's like a long, like literally a four hour hold time. So he's busy. Um, so, but earlier today, he went out to grab a few things from the grocery store that we would like to have before the end of the week. So, and for the Friday night feast. So while he was out, since Rickwin, Joe sent us some buy me a coffee. Thank you so much, Joe. We went and got us some Dutch, so he has his drink and I've got mine. All thanks to Joe Rickwin. Thank you so very much. We so appreciate y'all. I'm about to go to lunch here in a few minutes and I'll show you what I'm gonna eat today. Yeah, y'all, I'm back to my salads for lunch. And at all day yesterday, I picked up that it's pepperoni, mozz, and olive little snack packs. So I put that on my salad. It's like the perfect thing. And then some avocado. And that's my lunch. Dinner tonight. We made up one of those round steaks. 
from John and Catherine. We took some sweet potatoes, made them mashed, and then we have on the side here some peppers, onions, mushrooms, all sauteed, and then practice run of making the Renee's or Parrot Head uh, tomato gravy, y'all. So I put some more on this and we'll see that's this coming friday we're going to show you how we make this on camera it's gonna be really good and that concludes the warden report sorry i missed last week i hope this one wasn't too long for y'all i'm excited to read all of your comments if you didn't already please hit that thumbs up it really does help our channel y'all so please do that if you're new here hit that subscribe button who knows what we'll come up with. And please go ahead and follow this video next. That would really, really help our channel as well. If you just continue on to this other channel. Even if you've seen that video before, go ahead and click on it, y'all. Thank you so much. And stay tuned to see all of our wonderful channel members. Thank you all so much for your continued support. Bye.